I feel very lucky to be able to study art history, not only in an art school, but also in an art school that's affiliated with one of the largest encyclopedic museums in the United States. I got interested in curating in one of the contemporary practices classes. You're able to do all these different things outside of just writing art history papers or just researching art history papers. I was able to curate two shows that were part of a three show series, but also I was able to, um, in a sense, curate a, ser a series of lectures um, involving um, networks in Latin America, so we invited um, an art historian from Brazil who was here in Chicago at that time who we were able to speak to and have a conversation with um, artists who are practicing in SAIC and outside as faculty and who are, have made a really big impact in the Chicago art community. My fellowship at the Art Institute of Chicago, it's a, a two-year program that I applied after an intense week-long uh, summer academy. You get put with a mentor or a curator who will be, you know, guiding you through the whole year. So I first started in, off in photography, um, and for the first year we had to do two uh, semester-long projects. So for the first semester-long project I chose a photo from the photo department, and then for the second semester, in order to go align with um, classes that I was taking at SAC, I decided to do um, more research into one of the paintings of this show. In the second year, we do a year-long research project on a show that will be in the vitrines at the Ryerson Library, and we really are looking a lot at the special collections in the Ryerson Library. And I feel being in an art school, it really grounds you to the contemporary time. So while I might be looking at a Saint, you know, the Saint Rose of Lima painting from the 18th century, I'm also thinking of how that is in conjunction with, let's say, a painting from the MFA show last week. And I feel like those connections are really valuable to make.